Welcome, I haven't done one of these for a while. Um, because I couldn't be bothered. You may notice that I'm closer than I used to be because I'm trying, um, new closer camera angles because I've tried lots of new things in my life. Closer camera angles, jogging, crack. It's a wild time in my life. Um, but this week I'm going to talk about two new recent games which have come out, one of which is very bad and one of which is... Uh, okay. Um, and they are Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and Gran Turismo 5. Let's start with Gran Turismo 5, shall we? Gran Turismo 5 has basically been hyped up as this amazing game that's... well, it's, it's meant to be really, really good. It's been in development since the beginning of time, and it's amazing that they started development on this one before they made the first one, which is fantastic. Um, and surely, logically, we should suspect that if you spend more time on a game, it should be good. Or at the very least, it should be better. And all that playing Gran Turismo 5 has made me realise is about three years ago when they were, uh, uh, it's about three years ago when they were meant to bring out the game, um, it must have been really, really, really fucking shit. Because this is a really bad game. Like, it's not even like a game I don't like. It's just f badly made. It's that colossally. Nah, it's like Sony locked up the developers in a little cage and gone, MAKE THE GRAND TURISMO AGAIN! Because it basically uses the same rubbish stuff that the earlier games used in terms of menu design and shit. Like, it's just mental and weird, and I kind of expect mental and weird games to come out of Japan every now and again, because fuck it, it's Japan, they have robots and shiny things. But this is just mental in the wrong sort of way. It's like... The menu design is just mental, like it takes five minutes to get into the game and it keeps telling me my time's wrong, even though it's not. It's like, your time is wrong, thank you, but can I drive the cars now? It's infuriating how colossally dumb the user interface is, and it really stops it being fun. And it's just, if you actually look at the little tiny sliver of actual game in it, it's actually really good simulation. And because this is a sim racing game, it's not meant to be fun, it's meant to be accurate to real life. And in that, in when you're actually in the car, it's good. But there are so many other problems. Like, you'd expect, because it's been in development for ages, it would have lots of cars in it. And it does, kind of. In that it has a thousand cars, but only a fifth of them are actually good enough to be considered this generation's kind of cars. Like, only a fifth of them look as good as something like Forza 3 have as cars. The rest of them just look really, really bad. Like, they just went, oh, let's just put in all the cars from the last four games which are on shit consoles and look crappy. Yeah, let's all go home and drink something. Petrol. Um, and it's just, it it's infuriating because it should be better. It, we've been waiting for this game since forever and it should be good, but it's not. And it's just, it's just insulting to the users in that They've been they've been hyping this up, and they have the audacity to advertise it as a good game. And it's not at all. So whatever you do, don't fall in for the marketing because there are so many problems with it. Many of which, which I haven't said today. Go read competent reviews of it and things, and watch videos about more, slightly less insane people reviewing this game, and you'll see how bad it is. It's not fun. It's not good. It's not a game. If you want a good racing sim game, go buy Forza Three. And if you only have a PS3, and you're th and you care that much about getting good driving games, go sell your PS3 and buy an Xbox and get Forza. Whereas if you're on a PS3 and you just want a fun racing game, you're gonna want to buy this. Now, this Need for Speed has a little bit of a story behind it because Need for Speed is sort of a weird franchise in that it's made by a new person every now and again, and it changes what it is. It's the it's the schizophrenic of the racing game world. Because at one minute it's a serious racing game like Shift last year, which was just a sort of Forza 3 light, which was quite frankly terrible. Um, whereas now, it's a much more fun game. Um, because it's made by Criterion, who are the guys who make the Burnout series, and it's called Hot Pursuit, because it's all about police taking down people in cool cars. And it's basically sort of like, it's very sort of American sort of, how can we make this cooler? It's like... Okay, it's like these dudes are being chased by police, man, and they have Lamborghinis! Ah! What if the police... It's, it's basically what if the police had supercars, and everyone else had supercars, except for the poor fuckers who are, who are the traffic in this game. I really feel sorry for them, because they just keep on getting killed by me. 
even when I'm a policeman, because fuck it, they're in my way, um, and I want to take down the racers, because I get points for that. Um, and it's it's really, really good, um, but it is also very, very dumb. Like, if you compare this to GT5, like, in GT5 you can, like, tune the things and the stuff and all the tires and the wheels and the windows and everything. You can change everything and make it all work, and it's all very realistic and stuff. Whereas in this, you basically, you look at the car A and car B. Car B has a bigger horsepower number than car A. You use car B. It's the, it has more of the horsepower. It's basically, it. and by the way, horsepower to me always sounds like you're actually using horses as fuel. Which always sounded a bit weird. But anyway, um, but it's it's a lot more simplistic, and it's basically a souped-up version of traffic cops or cops with cameras or whatever bad television show you want to think about. It's basically just that if they had Lamborghinis, and you can choose to play as a racer or a cop, but you can do both eventually. Um. But the where it really comes out is in its its auto log, ooh ooh auto logging things. And basically, what this is is just it's basically just going, hey 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 hey, come on, come on. You know your mate, he beat you at this race. Mm, what are you gonna do about it? And that is so annoying because it makes me go back and replay games that I've races that I've already finished and completed and. I mean, it's brilliant because it makes me play this game far more than I should, which is good because it gets me value for money. Um, and it's very fun like that. And really, if you do compare GT5 and Need for Speed, sure, GT5, GT5 is is while is like driving from point A to point B. While you're driving from point A to point B in a very realistic way, with point A and point B being like a bank and a shoe. Need for Speed is basically driving from point A to point B, but in a very sort of surreal way. They still get there, and surreal is kind of more fun. And if you, re and you know, when when I think about it, if you, GT5, when I describe it like that, sounds like commuting. I don't commute to a shoe. Um, and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is point A and point B are like a strip club and an ice cream factory. Much more fun places to be. Um... It's it's just it's a more fun game, and at the end of the day, games are about having fun. Don't buy GT5. If you want a fun racer, buy Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Or and if you want a great sim game, go buy Forza 3 or wait till next year for Forza 4. Oh, by the way, Forza 4 is coming out. It's going to be fucking awesome. Um, but yes, uh, so those are Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and uh, Gran Turismo 5. I am now going to start doing videos weekly. Um, hopefully be up every weekend, um, except for, like, after Christmas shit, because, fuck it, it's Christmas, I want to eat pies. Um, and uh, soon I'm going to be doing a big Game of the Year thing, it's the end of the, the year is over, so therefore I must look back and reflect on my time playing video games in front of my telly, alone. So that should be fun. Um, until then, have fun. Bye.